Hi friends, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. My name is Renata and in today's video, I'm so excited to share with you my fall haul. Now this isn't a huge a shopping spree that I went on. I picked up these items um, during the course of the last few weeks and I'm so excited to share with you what I purchased. I have a lot of pillows <laughs> um, during the recording of that section. I, I thought I only bought like two, but I actually bought more than that. So in that video, you guys are going to see um, me jump in and be like, oh no, I have more than I, I thought I did. So if you guys are really excited and would love to see what I have in my home new, for fall season. Please meet me in the next section. <laughs> so this first a pillow says, hello fall. It's from Place and Time at Joanne's Fabric. The color is something that I'm experimenting with. It's more of a dusty sort of brown color. Um, burnt orange on the more brown side, the deeper side. So I thought I would pick this up. I was out with my daughter and she really wanted this one. At that time, I wasn't too sure what my color scheme is, but I'm pretty sure it's more on the lighter side where I have more whites, um, more of that green coloring and more orange. So let me share with you another set of pillows. This one uh, did come from Home Goods and it was in a double pack and the price was right. This is the farmhouse by Rachel um, Ashwell and this is also a down alternative. So I'm not sure what that means, but I'm sure it has a lot to do with when you um, kind of lay into it, how it comes back and the recovery is really nice. So this is the, the pillow set. And then another pillow that I picked up, this one came from Farmhouse Market Texas, which is a local home decor store. I'm pretty sure that you can find this online. It is from Mud Pie, but like I said earlier, everything that I share will be left in the um, description, so links will be there. But I just love how this is a fully um, white on white, and you can see the pumpkin detail there. I just think that's really, really pretty. And I decided to use this one as one of the focal for the main, the main couch here in the living area, and then probably work with the green. I also have um, my pillows from last year. I'll bring the pillows down from last year, which are more on the orange side. So I'll have those to share with you when I do my decorate with with me which will be done later this week so these are just going to stay out here until i get um, cleaning and complete that video the third pillow i picked up from farmhouse market texas what i love about this one is that it's white on white the pumpkin is almost invisible but then as you look closely you're like oh wow there's actually a pumpkin on that and the material that this is made in is really really nice it's um more of a really um textured sort of linen and the feel is really good this is by mud pie and i'm pretty sure you guys can find this online but um like i said before the links will be left in the description area but let's move on to the next set of items that i purchased the next section is signs and wall decor so this first one really isn't for any particular season. I know I shared this in one of my other videos, but I wanted to share it with you because I think it's really, um, I think it's a good buy, especially as we enter different holiday season, as we have people visiting our home. I think that this is just really nice and a pleasant thing to do for your guests. So here we have this sign. It is home is where the Wi-Fi connects automatically and it has two slots here for your network and your password. 
I thought that this was just something that would be really nice to add to your home, regardless of the season. The next item here is a, a leaf a carving from Hobby Lobby. I just love this coloring and you really can't see it very well because of my lighting, but it has such a, such a beautiful um, fall coloring. It's bronzy and it's got that sort of shimmery look to it as you guys can see but the carved detail is really what drew me to this piece i think it will go well with my sign from 2020 which is the bronze one from kirkland's if i can get an image i will insert it here but you'll definitely see that in my decorate with me so i I hardly ever do like welcome signs, like big signs out the front of your home. I more go for reads. And I was thinking just for that um, in between time from the end of September or like mid-October, like when everyone is pretty much into pumpkins and Halloween, that I would put this a welcome out there. I am still in the market for a fall wreath, so I'm looking... Hold that thought, actually. I'm not in the market anymore because I just realized that I picked up something two days ago. I'll share that shortly. So. This is the one that I will place on the front of the door sometime in October. This welcome sign from Hobby Lobby. And it is really a solid one as well. The, the rope is really tough. This feels pretty solid. So it's probably made out of MDF, but I think this one is like a a split of a one by four so it's it's heavy and i think that's a, a good buy you know normally when you get some some of these signs they're like really flimsy and they just have no girth i like my things to feel really strong and solid and this actually feels really solid so i think this is a, a very good buy for this season and for the price Now, this piece is probably the one that really got my mind working over time for the colors that I wanted to work for fall as we move into Christmas. I love this. I can't believe I picked up something as pretty as this and at such a great price at Hobby Lobby. It looks like a very... Uh, expensive piece it's uh, a great size and you would think that it would cost a lot more I got this for uh, a 40% off and I just think it's a really really good buy I love this artwork what do you guys think isn't it just beautiful So for this artwork, I was really hoping I could find a sister to this so that I could have two. So one would be slightly different since I have those two shelves back there on the same wall that I can use as an anchor. But I haven't found anything, so I'm really thinking about what I'm going to add to the second shelf or maybe I could put it on the single shelf because I have three of those two of which are on one wall which is the wall right behind my dining table so I am going to see what I can do what I can come up with and also check local stores to see if they have anything similar along the same color line um, something that has a lot of warmth in it like this, you know, the colors are just so beautiful. They are reminiscent of the season that we are decorating for and I'm just really loving it. So those are the, the signs that I have purchased for this season. Now let's move into the next section, which I think has a lot to do with 
vases and flor floral pieces. So meet me in the next section. Okay, so we're back and I have a lot of stems to share with you. Some flower bunches and I'm gonna start with my my milk jug. So the, the first one I'm gonna share with you is this little milk um, jug from Hobby Lobby. I picked this one up mainly because I like the color on the, um, the color of the truck. Normally you'd find it um, either in red for Christmas or some other color, not this sort of turquoise um, greenish color. And I thought that was really unique and that's why I picked it up. And normally I try to stay away from too much labeling and wording in the home. I just think sometimes it just becomes too much and I prefer it to be more classic. But I almost took this thing back, but I thought it would it would work for some area in the house, especially in my entryway. I, I think it would look really nice on my table. So that's probably where this will go. And coincidentally, I have picked up one of those uh, farmhouse trucks and the color is quite similar. You guys will see that one shortly. So that's done. This one was a really good buy in my opinion. I picked this up from Kohl's. I never go to Kohl's for home wear. I think it just it just happened. We were walking through and I realized that they actually have a decent home section and these were on sale. So the price on this one was really good. I'm not sure if it's available, but I do like that it's a really nice solid ceramic piece. Like I see, like I said, and I keep seeing, I like the pieces to be really solid. I don't like them to feel like really wicky and easily, um, pieces that can easily break. I want them to be strong and I want them to last for a long time. I don't um, get rid of things too often. So they have to withstand time. So this one is really nice. I think it would look definitely nice on the dining table. I'm not sure if I'll do any sort of tablescape this year like like other YouTubers, this is my, my second year working on my style and figuring out what I like and I just don't feel like I want to spend a lot of, um, of my cash on that at the moment. I want to work on different pieces and as I figure out what I really like, then I can go all crazy because I can definitely go crazy with the space, but I think it's easier to um, lose it when you do something like that and it's more important to spend time figuring out what you really like and then invest. So this one would probably go on the dining table. Since these um, bunches are on the top, I'm going to share them with you. I was just walking around Hobby Lobby doing my shop with me um, video and then these were on sale for 40% or half price or whatever and my daughter saw them and she really liked them and she said we should get them because she thinks it would look really nice. I was really trying to get the more orange hue but she loved this bunch and um, we decided to go with two. So this is going to be somewhere in the home. I also picked up these containers. They uh, look like apple containers, but you can fill them up with pumpkins. You can even like lay them on a table or on the floor and fill them up, have foliage coming out of them. I thought that's something that I would like to do just because they're cute. And I really like this color. It's very rich and it's also 
uh, a neutral color. It can work with many different shades in your home and depending on your style, it's not like, oh, this is one style it won't work. Because you can add this to your kitchen, you can add it to your entryway, you can add it to your front porch. Um, it's a very versatile uh, container and I liked it and I think it will work well so now on to the, the picks. Um, I picked up these little wheat, little wheat picks from Farmhouse Market, along with all these other picks. These are just dried um, natural palm husks. This one is in a more orangey hue. So there's two packs of those and then I have this other one this one is called Cotandrias I think that's what it's spelled as Cotarinias I think it's Cotarinias and it just looks like a little little tails and soft and it's very fluffy i like this color because it has a hint of like purple and that's one of my favorite colors it's more on the sort of um geez, what color i'm thinking the color is just more of a, a deep a purple but i'm looking for a specific name that has totally eluded me so let's move on <laughs> Let's move on to this next one, and this is Feralius, dried Feralius. They should just come up with better names for these um, flowers and stems because they're tongue twisters. But this one is great for filling, and the color is just perfect for fall as well. Going into my farmhouse market bag here. I have sort of fallen in love with white jugs and these are stoneware and they're really pretty and they're quite heavy. This first one is, um, it has a ring at the, the lip and the top here. It's a bit shorter and then there is the second one. It's really beautiful. Uh, I'm going to use them for flowers. I think they're going to look really nice and they're just really beautiful and of great quality. So these were great buys and I am happy with them. They look so good, look at them. They look really smooth and nice. You know, sometimes when you purchase, um, depending on where you buy them, when you purchase them, they don't look as smooth and as well made as these, unless you're looking for something that has an antique feel to it. I like my things to be a little bit smooth. So this is, um, in my opinion, a really great purchase for this season. All right, so now I think I have a few pieces for um, small decorative pieces that I'm gonna bring over and I think we can wrap it up after that. So I'll meet you in the next section. I'm pretty sure I stopped with the foliage and the vases. Well, I'm here to tell you that I have two more to share with you. This, or should I say, these are some amber glass. I feel like I didn't get into this last season, so I wanted to bring it in this season just because everyone's doing it. I'm being peer pressured and I know I'm a year behind, but that is okay because I think I can make it work and I like it. So I picked these two up from Hobby Lobby. I wish I had gotten some smaller ones because they look really nice if you kind of create um, an asymmetric design with two bigger ones and one small one or a few small ones with a single stem in there. They look really pretty. So I have these two and I really like them. 
I am not sure what I'm going to put in them or how I'm going to work them in with what I have, but I know they will end up looking really nice. The other items that I have to share are some candle stick holders. So these two, and I think I have to go back and pick up another one. These I picked up at Farmhouse Market. Now, I could have picked up some really nice antique ones. I found some really unique ones locally, but they were they were $75 for one and I just didn't want to do it. I might still because I like the unique design of that, but I just I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. But this one and this one are almost identical to one at the second antique store that I went to and they were for $28. They were about the same price so that's why I picked these up. Um, yeah these run for about 24 25 bucks a piece so that's why I picked these up but I love them they are heavy and I love that and I just need to get some traditional candlesticks for this and I may go grab a third one so I have a really nice um, display on probably the entryway table over there and I just hope that the dogs don't knock anything down when I have these candles going. I have to figure out where I really want to have them because the dogs, they do play hard inside the house and they need to learn to be good little kiddos. So we'll see how that goes. The other item and I know I said I didn't pick up a wreath earlier in this video but I corrected myself because I just picked it up um, two days ago at Target. So I went to Target with my daughter and we did our Target shop with me and I haven't And I haven't edited that video yet, but this is from the threshold. And I think it's really pretty. I think it really um, goes well with the, the artwork that I picked up. I wish that I could find some smaller ones and bring that in, but Target does have really beautiful um, classic pieces, pieces that are neutral, that can work within your space for any colors that you choose to work with. They're just light enough that they won't make such a bold statement. It would be more subtle. So I picked this one up. It's not something that I would use. It's not a design that I would usually go for. I like the bigger, like full leaves and full flowers and all that going on there. But my daughter, she thought this would look really nice. And you know what? I'm gonna encourage her when she is assisting me because her eyes see things differently than I do and it's younger she's 12 and you know she's got all the cool things going on so I was like okay we'll take this and I, I really like how the color is popping on the screen right now so this will definitely look good and I might actually put this one up uh, before the the hang-in sign, the welcome sign from Hobby Lobby. So let's see if this can balance here while I move to the next item. Now I know I I told you guys I was done with the pillows, but that was just a complete lie that I totally forgot about. So here we are. I picked up two of these from Let's get them right here. I picked up two of these from Target. Again, Sophia helped me pick these out. And these weren't the ones that I initially wanted. There was uh, some striped ones that I may head back and pick up. But I like the hue of this one. And just thinking about all the different places that I have pillows to go, I thought that this would look really nice. I'm really in the market as well for blankets. I need some throw blankets and I'm 
hoping that I can pick them up in the next few days. I have to head over to Hobby Lobby again and Home Goods, so hopefully I can find something there. Otherwise, I am sure Target has some that I really like. I just love the quality that the ones at Home Goods have as well as at Target. So this is the next a pillow that I purchased and I have two of these. And what else? Oh. This one was just random and this is from one of the Hobby Lobby visits. I think I shared this in a previous video. Sophia wanted to pick up this little guy and I told her why pick up one, we should get the other two so that they, their friends are together. So we have to run back to Hobby Lobby for the other two matching guys. I think one's an owl and then there's another one, um, another creature I can't remember. So I went over to Kirkland's and I saw some really, really nice things, but in my mind's eye, I couldn't work them into all the pieces that I have right now. I have a cart at Kirkland's and now that I have these laid out and they're gonna go onto the table, it will be easier for me to pick pieces that I wanna keep and that I want to um, and not work with for this year and then as I bring stuff down from the attic then I'll know what I need from Kirkland's because you know you can go overboard if you don't pay attention and you might be um, buying duplicates because they do bring back some of these pieces again year after year so I did not have this little pumpkin collection set I thought it was really cute so I picked it up and I like the colors. They had another pumpkin set, but that just didn't, it just didn't work for me. So I picked this one up. And the next thing, what did I pick up again? Oh, I think this one is the, the steal of the day because look at what I picked up at Sam's Club. They had three colors. They had a white, they had a pink, and then they had this one. And I just chose this. Doesn't this really look like the other truck? I mean, look at this. They, they, they're not identical, but they definitely look similar. Don't you guys think? And my lighting is just messing up everything, but I had not noticed that until creating this video. So yeah, and also this lights up too, which I think is really, which I think is really good because then you see there, it lights up really nice. So it can go outside, it can stay indoors, and it's a sturdy little truck. And I think it's um, it's about thirty. I think I paid thirty-two dollars for this. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that is everything that's, that's new that I haven't shared before with the exception of these three items right now. And then I'll just go over some of the things that I've already shared um, in two other videos. So a while at Target, I went through um, heart and hand. So I picked up this uh, spoon holder. And then I really wanted to get some new, whoops. I really wanted to get some new uh, spoons and spatula set. I want them to be along the same color scheme and made up the same material. Right now, if you look at my, you, uh, utensil canister there's all different colors in there and I just want everything to be streamlined so I've started to pick up these from a magnolia and as um, as they add new pieces to that collection as long as they match these I'm going to add them because I want all my my utensils to pretty much match so that is it for everything new Just ignore what I just said because that is, 
I just have so much. I'm sorry. Okay. So <laughs> I, I always pick up these little blocks at Hobby Lobby because I think they're so cute and I'm not good at creating tiered trays, but I like to believe that I can someday make a beautiful one. So that is why I pick these up. And I also picked up a fall dish towel at Hobby Lobby. And then I have these two from a farmhouse market. I thought they were so, so pretty and I just love the, the design. It's very unique and I love the coloring. So I think that would work well with everything that I have going on here. And I'm 100% sure that that is it for all the new things. And I'm just going to quickly wish you the items that were shared before. Huh. For some reason, I thought I had two of these. So this is the tall wheat bunch. And I'm so, I swear I picked up the small one, but I guess I only picked up one. I noticed that Walmart has a few of these. They're a lot taller for a about twenty dollars and the the bunch is really nice big and it's really a thick thing so you can also go over there um, I like this one because it's just more of a, a longer shape it's more rectangle and perfect for any of the spaces that I have to work with and I know I shared this little bench before I mean it's like a little stand so it's just a little pedestal, it's a wood pedestal. And a pumpkin would look really cute on this. Or maybe this one is too big. Maybe a smaller one would look really nice. Or a candle. And then, what else did I have in here? Oh, oh. Just some miscellaneous items like the the little trick-or-treat dish um, with a little spoon here. And then I also picked up two of these. So I just have to stuff these. I don't do a lot for uh, Halloween, but this is just a nice way to add uh, a hint of decorations for that season. There you have it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I think this video is pretty long. It's longer than I've made um, in a long time. But if you stay to the end, I really do appreciate it. I hope that everything I've shared gets you excited for the season, gives you a little more um, idea for what you want to do. If you have any um, anything you want to share with me, you know, tips you want to share with me, ideas, or if you want to help me to figure out, you know, the style that you think kind of uh, resonates with me based on the pieces that you see me put together here. I would love to hear from you. I think that this season is going to be great. I cannot wait for Christmas. I know I'm saying that in a fall video, but these things are going to be up by the end of the week the house is going to be decorated for fall you guys are going to love it as much as i do because i think it's going to turn out really good i have a lot of pieces to bring down from the attic and maybe i'll put a video together of the pieces that i brought from the attic but for now um thank you so much for joining me have a wonderful day and i'll meet you on another upload bye bye there you have it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed what I shared. I I spent a lot of time talking about the things that I brought into my home for this season. So hopefully it ignites you and gets you excited for this season and how you can make your home cozy and just loving and family ready for the holiday season. This year has been a whirlwind. Last year was crazy. This year has been a whirlwind. And I'm hoping that everyone is just ready for the cooler weather and more time spent with family and friends. So 
If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to click the subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment down below. Head over to Instagram, follow me over there. I post pretty often and I would love to see you on that platform. Again, thank you. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.